at slow speed we all seem focused. Hello everyone, I haven't done a video like this for a long time. It's just a short-ish collection video showing off all my stuff. So if that's not something you're interested in, like movies and memorabilia, then give this video a skip. You'll be all good. Well anyway, let's not waste any time. So as you can see I've went for a sort of movie theater effect on my curtains here. So you, you may have seen bits of this when I did the haunted waifu, but uh, it's all different now. This right here is the painting from Code Veronica. Uh, my friend Aaron got it for my birthday this year. Yeah, the, yeah, this year. And it's pretty great. Creature from the Black Lagoon, Dawn of the Dead. You got a whole bunch of CDs here. The curtains are kind of getting in the way. It's not as much as I would like for such a music lover. I don't have as much as I would like. I'm working on it. This right here, this pile, this is all DVDs that need to get sold. I'm just too lazy right now. PS4 games. Again, more than I thought I had. Uh, I've got my favourite swastika cactus here. Just got to show that off and uh, I think she wants to say hello as well. Hi Pippi. Right, well let's get to the meat of it, shall we? So, at the top here, we have my favourite movie of all time, Dawn of the Dead, in 4K. Which <laughs> I can't play because I don't have a 4K player yet. But when I'm forced to get a PS5, then I'll be able to watch it. These sets are really cool. These are some of the favorite things, my favorite things that I own. So I've got a little table all set up in preparation for this. So this is the Godzilla uh, Showa era films, as you can see from the title. And I just think this is beautiful. So every single movie has its own essay and custom artwork. Uh, and then we get to the actual Wait, where are the discs? Okay, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Here are the discs. Yeah, this is one one of, if not if my favourite thing that I own. Godzilla movies are really hard to get here in the UK. And then this set finally came out from Criterion in 2018, I think? 2019, 2019. And that's when I got this. My mother, God bless her. And then we have the Gamera collection, which is pretty much Godzilla's little brother. It's the same kind of deal. It's every uh, Gamera movie. This is really difficult to do with one hand. Uh, yeah, so it's got every Gamera movie and it's got every comic that was ever released. I didn't even know there were comics, but apparently there were. And then we've got, I don't even remember what this is. Let's have a look. Yeah, so I've just had a quick flick through. It seems to be much the same deal as the Godzilla set. Every movie has got its own essays and artwork. And this set has, tripled in value since I got it and again one of my favorite things it didn't even cost that much but now it does all right and we're back so I'm very careful when handling these things because they are very important to me. Oh, I've got Mothra up there as well by the way it's like god she's the queen of the monsters but Godzilla is the king of the monsters I love this shit by the way can I just apologize if my commentary is not too good I'm not used to being behind a microphone anymore at least not on my own so I think I'm struggling ever so slightly. This is my vinyl collection and I'm not going to dig all that out and show you but hopefully you can see that how much I've got. Again, not as much as I would like but pretty cool. Uh, now we've got uh, Blade Runner here. This comes with uh, the little car, I forget the name of it. it was a, it's a little figurine and it has every single cut of the movie which is five different versions. How many have I watched? One, <laughs> like ever. And it's numbered as well, so it's cool. So yeah, forgive me, just geeking out over here. Hope that's all right with you. I got this today, The Hills Have Eyes. And pretty much th the system is, if a movie takes up more space than one movie should, this is where it ends up, which is why we've got, like that's Blade Runner there, that's one movie. And look at the size of it. Then we've got Lake Mungo here. I heard a lot about it and I didn't think it was as good as everyone says but after watching it a second time I gotta say yeah it's all right I would recommend it I, I like that sort of stuff that kind of reality based horror bit paranormal activity here this is a very nice set and underrated movie in my opinion now here we have the Disney classic set I did actually do multiple videos like this in the past and I showed you this set in full but it's actually it's different now so give me, give me just a sec Okay, so you can see it's the complete 57 movie collection. The one I had before had one less movie. 
I didn't have Frozen 2, this one does, and it's now Blu-ray instead of DVD, as you can see the Disney Blu-ray. That's my current quest, is upgrading everything from DVD to Blu-ray, and it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's very expensive work too. It kind of feels insurmountable at the moment, but maybe one day I'll get close. While we're on the subject of Disney and the like, let me just show you this. So this is really outdated now, and also I got it pre-owned as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. Besides the prettiest, so it's the one I choose to show. But yeah, so it's got every uh, Pixar movie up to Monsters University in 2013. Of course the problem with getting a set like this is that you then have to get all the other Pixar movies. And actually while we're on that subject, I watched Coco last night. It was pretty good. I watched Onward the night before. It was really good. So if you have not seen Onward, definitely recommend it. So just before I move on and show you the next thing, this is the DreamWorks collection. And you know, if you can read, then you already know this. This came from Australia, but they're all region free, so it doesn't matter. And as you can see, it's uh, rather a lot of movies. 42. I've seen four of them. And all four of those I had seen before. Oh no, I've seen five. I've seen five. All five of those I had seen before I even bought this set, so I haven't even begun to tackle it. It was uh, yeah, quite an investment, shall we say. And now for something completely different, this is Ingmar Bergman's cinema. If you've never heard of him, he was a Swedish director and created some of the most influential movies of all time. This is from Criterion. Uh, if, you do, if you're not familiar with Criterion, it's essentially the creme de la creme of physical movie releases. I've heard rumours that they're thinking of going completely digital soon and that would be a crime, a desperate crime. So let's hope not. But yeah, this is, it's not every movie that Bergman ever did, but it's a fucking lot. <laughs> and I don't have run times to hand. This Fanny and Alexander, that's like four and a half hours long, if not more. It's actually in the top ten longest movies ever, which I didn't know when I got this. But again, yeah, Blu-ray. And again, it, uh, I'm not going to dig it out because I'm getting lazy. But it also comes with a massive book with interviews of Bergman, essays in every movie. And again, not as expensive as you would think for what you're getting. Alright, and that's about the meat of the really cool stuff, to tell you the truth. Some of my favourite things. Uh, but here we have the reality section, as I call it. I don't think this was in the last video I did. I don't... I doubt it. But this is all stuff that's based in reality, so we've got a stand-up comedy, music... Uh, Jeremy Kyle, because it was a present, and I just... I just think it's so ridiculous that I just can't get rid of it. A Jeremy Kyle DVD, what the fuck? Anyway, so yeah, lots of stand-up comedy. As you can see, I'm a, a little big... a little fan of Billy Connolly, to say the least. Uh, anything interesting down here? Yeah, it just keeps going, man. Down here, um, we have uh, a lot of wrestling stuff. Like, a lot of people say to me, Oh, you're a wrestling fan, aren't you, Liam? And the truth is, I'm not. I don't know why I've got this much. I think they just look really cool. But I've seen, like, see, we've got WrestleMania, 20 years of WrestleMania, 19 of SummerSlam, 19 of Royal Rumble, the complete Attitude Era highlights. I've not, as you can hopefully see, that's not even been opened and I've seen about 5% of the rest of it. Like, when when can you fit in the time to watch these massive pay-per-view events? It's just, it's nuts. But it's there, uncensored, apart from the censoring of the logo. So there is that. Uh, I, I like these, these little things. They're kind of new. I forget what they're called, but they're like uh, video game themed uh, rubber duckies. But you can get movie ones as well. This is Tofu from Resident Evil. I just had to get it because I think that's so bloody ridiculous. This was a present. You know who you are. I love it. Anyway, so what else we got in reality here? I really like this cat. See this cabinet? See this thing here? This big cabinet? Ten pounds. Seriously, ten pounds this cost me. It's insane. Anywho, so yeah, more reality stuff. And uh, then here we got Specky Goth. A Godzilla figurine, which uh, is awesome, and then some, and to be herself, it's, and my turntable. Yeah, I love this thing. It, 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 it's not part of this unit. It just looks exactly the same. It, it's perfect. I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of rhinos, by the way. <laughs> Don't know if you noticed. I got one back there as well. Anyway, so let's move on. 
So this is the room. I've taken to calling it the blue room because I'm replacing everything with Blu-rays, so it's no longer the DVD room. It's uh, it's kind of a hodgepodge of DVDs and Blu-rays. Uh, it's a mess, but we'll get to it. So what I normally do with these videos is just find something of interest to talk about. Just going through it slowly and see if anything stands out. Of course, I've got to remember which ones I've pulled out before and talked about so that I don't do it again. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just... If I, if I find it on Blu-ray and it's a reasonable price, I'll buy it. I never actually cared before. It was all DVDs and I just... I didn't care. I was like, oh, the quality difference isn't that much. And then I got a 65-inch TV and yeah, you can definitely see the difference after all. So, bummer that I now have to replace everything with Blu-ray. I'm, I'm quite a big Batman fan, but we'll, we'll get more to that as we go along. Now, when I was replacing all my DVDs with Blu-rays, Jallo was actually my top priority because they were some of the first DVDs I ever got. And I don't know, there's a comfort to Jallo movies in my opinion. But yeah, nothing in particular at standard. I may be a cheapskate, but I also believe in Wabi Sabi, which means and anything that is damaged shows that it's been loved. Anything that's damaged has a history, so the fact that I'm buying these pre-owned movies and they're a little bit damaged means someone loved them at some point. At least that's how I justify it. What are you doing? Look at this scene. Yeah, I was about here, right? Okay. Uh, Carnival of Souls, another uh, Criterion version. I love Carnival of Souls. I absolutely adore this movie. We watched it last October. Uh, it was a small audience, which was a shame because it's so unique. Um, I'm doing the arm thing again. Apologies. <laughs> it's, I'm not used to being on the mic anymore, so I keep going, um, uh, like a brain dead fool. Oh, look at that, the look of a Bergman. We were just talking about Bergman and uh, Andre Cocteau, or is it Jacques Cocteau? I can't even remember now. Yeah, that's pretty high praise that they're, this low budget movie is being compared to Bergman, but I can see why. Okay, now I do want to talk about this. This definitely was not in the collection last time. So, oh shit. <laughs> so you may remember, oh there's a papyrus by the way, I can't figure out where it put them. See, the thing about this room, right, you may notice there's plushes everywhere and I get quite self-conscious about it because I'm 31 years old and I've got all these plush toys. But here's what the thing, they do serve a practical purpose, right? Let's say, for example, I fill this entire shelf here. Actually, that's a terrible example. Let's just pick one at random. Let's just say I fill this shelf completely, right? These are all in alphabetical order. So if I fill one shelf, and let's say I got a movie that went in between these two, well then, the whole collection would have to move because I've filled a shelf. So these plushes serve a practical purpose. And they look good. Like, what else am I going to put there, you know? Anyway. So we got William Castle here. Oh, Pac-Man light as well, by the way. Okay, that's apparently green. Blue. Uh, but we just want to fade through all the colors, don't we? And yeah, pretty cool. So I got William Castle here. I talked about this guy at length last October, and I realized I don't actually own more than one of his movies. So I got this, and what's interesting, right? 13 Ghosts has the 3D version. But you need, a, you need a specific 3D device to, to actually enjoy that. And this set doesn't come with them. With them. What is that all about? Uh, Charlie Chaplin collection there, guarded faithfully by Tonbury. Um, Cheech and Shaw. I, I don't think I ever showed this set off. This is pretty cool. Yeah, okay. I finally cracked the riddle. So this is like a giant cigarette packet. And, you know, for Cheech and Chong, that is so appropriate. It's only DVD, but here's the thing. Certain movies and certain TV shows, does quality really matter? Just Does the quality of Cheech and Chong really matter? I don't think so. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty, pretty neat set at a bargain price too. Set Eleven Dead, more Jallo uh, by Lucio Fulci, my favourite Jallo director. The only one I can... Oh no, but Dario Argento as well. He's pretty good. I don't know what to do about this Cube set. You may have heard of the original Cube. It's sort of like Saw before Saw. They're, all these people are trapped in this... Wait, these are out of order. Oh no, wait, no, they're in chronological order. Hmm, that goes against my current rules. It just goes to show how long it's been since I've actually looked at this thing. This is one of the first box sets I ever got. Way back in, I don't know, 2008, 2009. Yeah, well no, like 2010, doesn't really matter. But yeah, the first movie's good, the rest are terrible. 
Uh, right, this is where it starts to get tricky because my shadow is screwing up the lighting. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to grab any of oh, this is pretty cool. Again, DVDs. And again, uh, this is themed after a giant cigarette packet. I think we're, I think we're seeing a pattern emerging here. Yeah, these are all, all the film noir classics, except the Big Sleep. I don't know why it doesn't have the Big Sleep. We got the Fly there. That that has not been released on Blu-ray yet. That whole collection, which annoys me. I hate when this happens. You Americans get it, not us. Now you may judge me for this. Um, <laughs> Fred and Ginger. Like, this is the stuff your grand would watch. But the reason I want it, wanted it, is because see Top Hat. That is the film that John Coffey watches in the Green Mile and I wanted to see it for myself. Hence why I have this rather strange box set. All for one movie. Yeah, this is all the Friday the 13th movies up to part 8. Tons of bonus features, but it doesn't have Crystal Lake Memories, which is the documentary on the making of all the movies and interviews with the cast years later. It's like five hours long at least. I can't find a definitive answer online as to how long it is. <clears throat> Right. <laughs> I haven't watched this yet, but man, this just rustles my jimmies in the best kind of way. The giant Gila monster. <laughs> With rock and roll hits like the Gila monster crew and my baby she rocks. Man, this is my kind of movie. It's probably completely terrible. Actually, you know what? I have a question. I've never done this before in these videos, but I have a question for you guys. Has anyone seen The Black Scorpion? And can you tell me if it's any good? Because I love scorpions. So I would love a movie about a giant scorpion, but not if it's complete trash, you know. Uh, in bright pink there we have Gilda, which is the movie they watch in the Shawshank Redemption, so I guess we've come full circle, because uh, Green Mile and Shawshank were directed by the same guy. Godfather Collection, that was a present. You know who you are, I love it, it's beautiful. Uh, Godzilla vs. I've already talked about Godzilla, I was going to pull that out, but we'll skip it. Uh, I have. If, if someone could walk into my room right now and see how I'm positioned to make this work, like I look like I'm ready to take it right up the arse. It's sideways, no less, just to you know stop my shadow uh, blocking everything. Harry Potter set again, a present from the same person who got me the Godfather. I love you. It's the best. Hellraiser. Now, interestingly, um, the Blu-ray set of this has a lot of complaints in the reviews. So, I'm not in any hurry to get it, which is a shame. Oh, you may remember the hitch block. Do you remember that in my previous videos? Like, it would go all the way up here, all Hitchcock movies. Well, they finally released a Blu-ray set that has pretty much all of his best movies. I say pretty much, it doesn't have Rebecca. Rebecca's in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm still a massive Hitchcock fan. In fact, I think, I, I think it's five more movies of his and I've got everything he ever directed. One of my favourite movie titles ever. I want to eat your pancreas. I'm not... <laughs> I'm sorry, it still cracks me up. The thing is though, if you watch the movie, it makes sense in context. It's a girl dying of pancreatic cancer, and he doesn't want her to die. So he's like, I want to eat your pancreas. It still sounds incredibly strange, but it at least makes some semblance of sense. But anyway, I watched this movie when it arrived, and... I cried. I want to tell you right now, I cried. I recommend that movie a lot. I almost skipped over this, the Human Condition Trilogy. I've not watched it yet. Why have I not watched it yet? Because the future feature runtime is 574 minutes. Okay, I finally got it right. This is over nine hours. It's three separate movies, but as you can see, no great I love to tell me this prayer. But apparently it's one of the greatest depictions of war, uh, period. Not, not just in Japanese cinema, but period. I will eventually get around to it, but I mean, come on, this is heavy stuff and it's it's going to be like Lord of the Rings, but with depression. So <laughs> it's going to take me some time to set time aside to get to this, but I'm glad I own it. Oh, by the way, we have DDD, Yoshi, and Roy Cooper. And then we've got uh, Cyndaquil, Blastoise, and Mort Morton Cooper. So I've got my two favorite Coopers, so I'm happy. Right, moving on. Man, I'm sweating here. <laughs> I saw Interstellar for the first time not too long ago and I really like it. I'm looking for, it's one of those movies I'm looking forward to watching it again, 
but I'm not in any hurry to do so because I want to forget as much as possible. This is one of the best Blu-ray upgrades I've ever gotten. I had the DVD set, but the Blu-ray set is crammed with special features, absolutely crammed. So that was a really good call. I soon want to replace Jaws 2 here with Jaws 2, 3 and 4, it's all like one case. As I was saying before, it's all about saving space at this point. So there's that. I've got the Buster Keaton Chronicles, that's got all of Buster Keaton's best movies. I haven't watched that yet, but I, I am quite into silent cinema. When I'm in the mood. Which is rare, to tell you the truth, but it does happen. Speaking of silent cinema, we've got Fritz Lang there. I remember I went all the way to Glasgow, which is like 25 miles away, just to get this box set. Speaking of silent cinema, we've got Laurel and Hardy, not all silent, of course. Lethal Weapon. More Hitchcock with Lifeboat. See this movie, The Lighthouse? Oh, did I buy this new? Oh, I did buy this new, that's right. Uh, this movie is phenomenal. Everything this director, Robert Eggers, has done, which is this, The Witch, and shit, what's that? The Northman? Is that is that what the latest one's called? The Northman with Bjerk in it? Apparently that's very good too. So he's my most exciting director working these days. Uh, I think. Well, of course, I think it's my opinion. Ooh. I've had that for so long and the batteries haven't died. Touch wood. This is interesting, I suppose. This is often called the very first found footage uh, movie. But I don't know if that's true. Like, there's so many movies that claim to be it. I've watched this and it's fucking terrible. It, the acting is really bad. There was, there's like no action, the special effects are completely laughable. But, historically, it's interesting. That's the thing about this collection is that not all the movies are necessarily ones that I like or love, but they are historically significant. For example, okay, so I got this today, Nomadland. This won the Oscar. Oh, I got No Time to Die today as well, weirdly enough. Uh, this won the Oscar for Best Picture, and that's one thing I collect, is every Oscar winner for Best Picture. I have, I think, six more to go, and I've got them all, which I'm pretty proud of. Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit here. I was never a big fan of Lord of the Rings growing up, but now I cannot get enough of it. Like, these are the extended cuts. If you factor in the special features, it's probably double that, if not triple. Because some of these, as I say, like, like perfect example, Lord of the Rings, some of these are just crammed. Anywho, moving on. So, I'm, I'm, try I'm currently trying to get all the Studio Ghibli movies that I own upgraded, but those are really expensive. It'd be nice if they released a big box set of them all, but I don't know, I don't think that's going to happen. So, uh, Parasite, another example of an Oscar winning movie. I got Paranormal Activity 3 today. I think after 3, you can stop watching. Three, even three's not that good. So it goes one's the best, then two, then three, and they just get worse as they go, and by four, they're unwatchable. So there is that. Pirates of the Caribbean, it's become one of my favorite movie franchises. Well, the trilogy is one of my favorite movie trilogies. I'll rephrase that. Police Academy, I haven't seen any of them yet. Uh, Predator, again. I've seen the first two. The second Predator is underrated. Alien Resurrection, a strong recommendation. This is a recent one, the Ultimate Rambo collection. Okay, this video is going on far too long, so I better speed this up. I thought for a second there that Cerberus was driving the motorbike. <laughs> I mean, it w I wouldn't be too surprised, to tell you the truth. Okay, moving on. Rocky, one of my favorite franchises. I want to upgrade that to Blu-ray, but they will not release the director's cut of four on Blu-ray. I don't know why. This was just there in the shop, and I mean, j just look at that. You, like, you know exactly what you're getting in for when you look at that. Again, another example of uh, culturally significant or historically significant. I have no intention of ever watching this again, so I don't know why I did it, but I did. Uh, yeah, we're kind of running into stuff that we've seen before in these videos. That was my worry. I was worried that I was going to do this again and it would be uh, not too much new to show. These sets here are the only sets I've ever found that have the original cuts. Everything else is the special edition. And I hate that. I really hate when directors take old movies and update and change them. Like, how dare you? Like, you can't, you can't rewrite history. Fuck off. So I refuse. I refuse to get them on Blu-ray. 
And le well, what I could do is keep the original cuts and then just get Blu-rays, but I don't know, man. I'll figure something out. Get, this thing is fucking huge, by the way. I love it. I'm, I'm, I am very much a coughing man. And I've just realized I've, I do actually have something to show off when we get to the end of this row. Toxic Avenger, pretty cool. I mean, see, it's hard to tell with this camera angle what's blurry and what isn't. But here it is coming into frame right now. It's nearly centered. I just think this thing is so beautiful. It's every one of the Universal Classic movies with Dracula and Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, every one of them on Blu-ray. This is actually an American set, but it turns out it's region free, so I'm happy. But yeah, 30 movies. It's actually 31 because it comes with the Spanish version of Dracula as well, but man, I just love this thing. Okay, and then we've got some South Korean movies there with the Vengeance trilogy. I've still not seen any of them. That's the thing. So let's back up a bit here. Of all of this collection, I've probably watched 40%, maybe 50%. It's, it's a lot. Enough to keep me busy till Rapture. Right, let's see. So anything of interest down here? Not especially. Uh, nothing. See, that's the thing. I've talked about a lot of these before, so... It's, it's difficult, so we've got Yoshi's in the Flygon, Coughing, oh that's Gengar, uh, Kingdra, Tau Kaka, this is one of my favourite things I own. I just love Tau, she's my favourite character of anything ever. Slowbro, Abra, which was a present, you know who you are, and Super Sheep, which we covered. Now I've started buying these somewhat foolishly. These are bootlegs. Now, they work fine enough, but they're expensive. More Hitchcock. Uh, Angel and then this is the bat block I tell I said before I'm a fan of Batman I wasn't kidding well, here you are uh, th this is uh, one of the first blu-rays I ever got I thought it's so appropriate blaze blu-ray haha <laughs> get it Breaking Bad that I'll soon be adding a Better Call Saul box set to my collection assuming they don't totally botch the ending which they want Cowboy Bebop that really needs upgraded amazing show Daz Boot uh, it's interesting, I've not watched it yet, but... Oh, by the way, uh, Garchomp, Shiny Magikarp. Daz Boot was a movie, and then it became a TV series. The TV series was pretty much the director's cut of the movie, which is four hours long, that TV series. Dexter's Lab, complete Blu-ray, don't give a shit. Uh, see, sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and get one from a different country. This is an Italian version of... Uh, Disney Treasures, it shows all the Mickey Mouse uh, and company cartoons from back at the very beginning, like Steamboat Willie, that's on here. Now, I, I don't know, I, I'm getting more into animation the older I get. Not, not so much because I love cartoons, well, I do, but it's more because I, I appreciate the art of animation more. Now, some of these uh, sets are outdated, like extras here, this is quite new, because the version I had before did not have the Christmas special, which is integral to the set. So, I eventually got it. Uh, Fallen Riser. I want to get the complete Flintstones, but that's like £75, so I'm in no rush. Friends? I don't know, man. Who doesn't like Friends? Game of Thrones, love it. Got this just today, the, in the in-betweeners. I finally got this upgraded. It's got an, an extra season and two movies, and it takes up less space. See, this is what I have to think about now, because I'm so low in space that I need to just replace everything. Uh, Mad Men is going to need upgraded. Hopefully that set will be smaller, because the fucking size of that thing. Power Rangers, that's relatively recent, a couple of months ago. I haven't watched it yet, but I will. Uh, Night Gallery, that's the sequel to Twilight Zone. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. Uh, Ren and Stimpy, I really want to get a complete set because Ren and Stimpy's great. Speaking of uh, sets that need upgraded, I need to get Sherlock Season 4. Simpsons takes up way too much room, especially when it's all on Disney+. Plus. Sopranos on Blu-ray, finally got that. Oh, what have I skipped? Wubba Fett, Slow King, Bowser. Okay. South Park, I uh, can get Blu-ray sets that take up much less space, but there's no guarantee that they're region free. So we'll see. Still game, that needs upgraded. Oh, this is supernatural. Like, that's only a third of the whole show, and look how much space it takes up. And then you've got Superman, the complete series, and it's just, you know, so small. Weird. 
Tales from the Crypt, one of my favourite shows, Tales from Dark Side, Psyduck, the Oxus, and of course, the man himself. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, this video has went on far too long. I appreciate your patience. I love you very much. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.